you know, designing a film and designing a stage version of it, they are completely different things. But I had, as a really kind of clear brief from David Halberg, I want the film on stage, Richard. I want the kind of that beautiful kind of hot Spanish village with salt in the air and I want that on stage. And I said yes, immediately. But I couldn't obviously ignore Barry Kay's proposal for a stage version of it. And I, there, are, there was one thing in that proposal that has definitely made its way into ours and that he had proposed, uh, which is not an uncommon thing, a, a kind of a, a, a proscenium arch that would be a frame for all of the different images and, and locations in the ballet. I get into the model really, really early, so I'll make a model box of the, of the stage space itself. This is Gamache's house. This was my first iteration, and at this point I was trying to figure out if I could turn the, the Gamache's house into a windmill on the back of it. But I think, okay, next step, let's figure out Gamache's house with more detail, and you can see suddenly is getting more detailed here. I've got I put doors in now that do actually open and close. I've given some dimension to these arches now, so we can get a sense of light and shade from it. And then, of course, I figure out really critical things like dimensions and and textures and colours. So all of these houses, all within them, have internal staircases and ladders and trapdoors so that you can enter through this door here from behind, get into this one and find your way either into here, up into here or up into here. And all of those uh, doors are practical, the balconies are practical, people can come out on them. The whole town is activated with people. One of the key colours in this set is orange that pops out in places. So there are little baskets of oranges and lemons that are scattered around the set that hopefully when John kind of lights it with that sort of hot midday Spanish sun and we've got a bright sky behind, these little orange moments will just pop out of us in amongst the colour of the dancers. It's a really great team actually, it's a fantastic team. Like, you know, Bart has such a sort of intimate knowledge about the intricacies of putting a, a show into the theatre and Peter managing the workshops and having sometimes the quite hard conversations with workshops when one's in Adelaide, one's in Ballarat, one's in Sydney and one's in Melbourne. You, you're literally dealing with hundreds of people, like you've got people figuring out automation, like windmills that turn around and lift people off the ground. You've got scenic artists who are carving polystyrene, and then you've got a guy making a horse for you, you know, and the closer you get to the point where it moves into the theatre, the more questions start getting fired at you. It's all kind of converging on this moment when it's all gonna hit the stage.